Hey guys, welcome back to the Urban Ladybug Farm and Homestead YouTube channel. My name is Katie and in today's video I'm going to give you guys a full tour of our 2021 raised bed and market gardens. Um, I know I haven't been on YouTube in a long time. It has been a crazy summer for us. We have been doing farmers markets on the weekends, so every Sunday we are selling our cut flowers, all of our sourdough goods and our homestead hygiene line which is a bath and skincare line that we created um, it's got like our goat's milk soaps lotions um, bath salts bath bombs all sorts of great stuff so we've been so busy with that because we still work full time so um, luckily though I am working home now um, I am fully remote at my new position um, I left the bank so I'm no longer working there um, but I am working from home and it's just such a better situation all around. But um, I'm going to go ahead and stop rambling and show you guys the tour of our gardens. Like I mentioned, we are selling our flowers at the market. So we've dedicated probably about 80 to 90% of our garden to flowers, cut flowers. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Some things, of course, have died back since it's, you know, we're at the end of the summer and it's been nearly 105 to 110 every single day for a good month or so. So it's been pretty tough on our plants, but they've been doing rather well nonetheless. Um, starting out here in the front, we've got carnations. We've got a few different varieties. We've got some pink, um, some like a peachy color with stripes in it. Let me go ahead and zoom back in. Um, so yes, we've got this gorgeous variety here. We've got this adorable blush pink. Um, and then we've got a white, of course. So we've got all of our white carnations down in here. Um, we did have a few other plants in here, but the gophers started to eat them. So here we've got our um, herbs. This is my pizza bed, but I use a lot of this actually for bouquets. So these are really lovely in bouquets, these sage stems here. They smell amazing too. And then of course, rosemary. I cut these longer sprigs and then I stick them inside the bouquets and they look really, really lovely in there. For here, we've got an, a mum. This guy is a couple years old and it actually grows naturally really round like that. We don't have to hedge it like that. So it's pretty cool. And here we've got our um, amaranth. I've got a ton of this hot biscuits amaranth. And then we've got some celosia in here. All back here, we had a bunch of peas, sweet peas, but they've all died back because of the heat. We've got more of this feathery white celosia in here, which is m m probably my absolute favorite of it all. And over here, we have our um, Black Eyed Susan and um, Rubicchia little section of the garden. Then I have some daisies here in the front, which really haven't been producing anything at all. The plants are, are growing still, but um, I think I've maybe harvested one or two flowers from that. It's been kind of a disappointment. Here we've got um, some globe amaranth, which is some of my absolute favorite filler to put in bouquets. Here we've got some gorgeous white straw flower. There's some that is blooming. And then we've got some calendula also, which needs to be deadheaded. Here we've got another herb bed. So this is some lemon balm. Then we've got a pineapple mint. And then this chive, which has been around forever. And I love when it blooms because these are so cute in bouquets. Over here is actually my entire straw flower bed in the garden so we've got all these different varieties of straw flower we've got pink and this gorgeous red maroon color this like blushy white with pink kind of going throughout it got this red fiery 
peach. So we've got all sorts of different colors. All of these were grown from seed. Actually, all of our flowers are grown from seed. Um, so every single one that you see in all these beds, the amaranth, I mean, literally everything in here was all grown from seed from Floret Flower. That's where we got our seeds from. Here is more of the Hot Biscuits amaranth. And then this one, I'll have to look up the variety name and tell you guys what it is. But this green one is actually a different variety. These guys are breaking off on their own. I just found out that this is actually a grain. Like a super grain. This, this right here is the moss rose. And the bees absolutely love the moss rose. We used to put it in bouquets, but I've been kind of just letting it go. Um, last time I tried to harvest from it, I got stung by a bee. And I am a beekeeper, but I am also allergic. And so if I'm not wearing my suit, it's not a good situation. So... I've just been leaving the moss rose alone to have let the bees do their thing. Um, and then we've got another little mum here, just like the one in the other bed. It's been just growing like that perfectly round. It's pretty amazing. Here we've got stock flower. Um, I think we planted these too late in the season, so they never produced anything. I think that they're more of like a cold weather flower, so we just didn't get any flowers from these guys. But the plants are still looking good, so maybe we can get them to go through the summertime and then they'll be ready for next year and hopefully they'll produce. This whole bed is empty here. We were supposed to put in um, some loofah, but that never happened. <laughs> um, and then we've got a volunteer. These are all volunteer zinnias gorgeous orange zinnia. We've got some more amaranth right here. This is the orange zinnia that we planted from seed last year, which made its way over here. Got some random tomato plants, some tomatoes that do need to be harvested. Got this calendula plant, which has been it's a couple years old now. Uh, it grew to this massive size and then we just cut it back. It's looking really nice. And over here we've got our um, foxgloves. So we've got two different varieties. We've got this gorgeous, um, I think it's like a cream, Camelot cream is the name. And then over here, we have our first one blooming. And she is absolutely beautiful, look at her. I don't know the name, I'll have to find it for you and put it on the screen, but I am so thrilled to see that these guys are actually blooming because I didn't think they were going to. Only these, this variety was has been blooming all summer long. We had some gorgeous China asters right here, but the gophers just absolutely loved them and kept coming back and eating them all. Then right here, we've got our gorgeous snapdragons. They've been getting eaten by caterpillar like crazy, but they're still producing so strong. Look how beautiful these guys are. And then we've got more tomatoes here, which are looking pretty sad, but I do need to come in here, harvest quite a bit. More tomatoes, more tomatoes. These are all tomatoes in here. I couldn't even tell you the variety if I wanted to. Um, these, uh, this is some bee balm here with some volunteer sunflower. We've got some basil and cucumber and some peppers. And then we've got a couple volunteer um, tomatillos, which we just kind of let go wild. Pepper, another um, cucumber here doing really well. And we've got this tomato here. Dogs are acting freaking wild. Yeah. All right, and then right here behind the Snapdragon, we've got more bee balm. And then we've got this gorgeous figwort here, which I love using as filler. And then some asparagus and more volunteer zinnias. A ton of volunteer zinnias. More volunteer zinnias over here. In this asparagus bed. And then, look at all these volunteer zinnias everywhere. And then finally, 
more volunteer zinnias and asparagus. All right, so this is the raised bed garden. Now we'll make our way over to the market garden. This is my sunflower patch here. I've got all sorts of different varieties. Like I need to get harvested. Look how beautiful these guys are. here we've got some cosmos which still haven't flowered yet not really sure what's going on with those guys do look a little sad um and then we've got some cosmos that are blooming but didn't really want more orange because you guys will see here in a second we've got so much orange cosmos everywhere we got a little pink variety here and then we've got some marigolds uh, blush queen lime zinnias more marigolds and then we've got some um coxcomb celosia here and then this is my full zinnia patch which is looking so amazing Looking this way, looks like a huge mess, but I know what's all in here. <laughs> so we've got some volunteer cosmos here, is this orange variety. We've got some gladiolus in here. Then these are all seed dahlias. All of these guys in this row. Half of them are from Eden Brothers, half of them are from Floret Flower. Um, over here we used to have poppies in all of these rows here, but we haven't put anything in there since. Um, and then these are some pincushions, some black pincushion, which are absolutely beautiful. Got a few of the um, Bells of Ireland left, but they're about done here. All of our dahlias. Our dahlias got eaten alive by thrips, and we did not spray anything because, you know, we we're an organic farm. So our plants are looking pretty sad, but I am going to come in here and kind of clean things up a bit, get them looking nicer in here. We have a ton of rutabicchia growing in the middle right here, but I have harvested most of them. So there's only a few of them left. Uh, we do have some lilies in here also. This is more dahlias in here. And then volunteer cosmos and then these are all of my dahlias also so we've got some of these gorgeous pink varieties with like some yellow center so beautiful gorgeous red varieties the yellow varieties this one's got a little bit of hint of pink in the center Look at that one, so pretty. We've got some that are tipped a different color. All their little tips are either a white or a lighter pink. We've got some of these ball varieties, which are white with a pink center. And on this side, we've got some of these just kind of plain pink ones and we've got these royal red beautiful guys we've got some of these adorable pink balls 
Or are these plain faced ones? our way through here. I can show you some of these other ones. So beautiful. I really want to step on any of these dahlias because i got to stake them up, so go ahead and stop right there, but you can see we've got a few other. The royal red, and then we've got like a lighter lilac pink purplish one over there. This is my Dahlia patch. I definitely have lots to work on for it next year. I'm gonna make it smaller, trellis all my Dahlias up. Um, probably plant like varieties near each other. Change things up a bit. In this little jumbled mess, we've got some Queen Anne lace, more volunteer Cosmos throughout here. We've got some um, foxglove that's finally starting to bloom in here. This was all of our bachelor's buttons and larkspur, but it's all going to seed, I mean, now. See all the little seeds in here. Um, and then these were all tulips right here, so there's nothing there anymore. Dahlia. Show you guys the foxglove. It's the same one as the other other bed so this is basically it you guys this is the whole market garden here um definitely have so much to change next year but uh, we are pretty happy with how it's set up for now um most of it is on drippers but we didn't we don't have conjoining rows here so the water does kind of tend to coagulate down in the middle of the rows so we've got lots of things we need to work on but we're pretty much overall happy with how it's all set up um but yeah i hope that you guys enjoyed this tour if you guys have any questions or any suggestions please leave them down below for me i hope that you guys enjoyed seeing what we we're growing this year um and i hope to be more a little bit more consistent with my uploads um, and if you guys do have any video suggestions, please leave those also. So I will talk to you guys soon. Have a great day and take care.